actually had an opportunity through one of the state schools there to become involved in the rural health uh, opportunities program, uh, which really piqued my interest in, in medicine and had a, a small uh, small town physician there in Shadron where I'm from that was a great mentor and would let me follow him around on multiple occasions and I just really loved what he did. I loved the interactions that he had with his patients and um, and how he took care of people and that's that's when it really stuck to me that, that that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I didn't have those people in my family um, to look to as examples but I did find people in my community that were more than willing to mentor me and it was a great experience. It's challenging and uh, you know when I got into obstetrics and gynecology I, I really liked all of it. Um, I liked doing surgery and, and doing obstetrics. There was something about taking care of those challenging patients and the really sick patients um, that really piqued my interest and kept me going. It, it pushed me to learn more and to read more. When you take circumstances where people are having to go through difficult times or a complicated pregnancy, and you're somehow able to have a positive impact on that and potentially have a positive impact on the outcome of that pregnancy, it's such a rewarding experience. My mom has always said that I'm, a, I'm an emotional uh, being, that. Um, that I sometimes wear my feelings on my sleeve. Um, I, I love the experiences of, of working with these patients um, and being there, as I said, in those moments that are most important in their life, moments that they're gonna remember forever. I feel like you get to be at this special place and, and oftentimes I find myself thanking patients after I deliver their baby or taking care of them for allowing me to be involved in their care and to be involved in that special moment for them. It's awesome. It's fuel for the soul. <laughs>